Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at three simple steps to free TV channels. Now we'll be using the Globemal uh, TV Aerial here and uh, we're going to be uh, setting this up and seeing how good it is at scanning for TV channels and whether it can detect HD channels and uh, what sort of quality they're like. Now the three steps are pretty simple. All you need to do is find a good location for your aerial and this could take a bit of time a lot of people just chuck them up on the wall and then scan and then they go oh it doesn't work you need to sort of find a good location uh, for that next up we're going to uh, set up the aerial and plug it into the tv you know, once we've got a good location and the third step will be for scanning for channels it's pretty simple and i'll show you all these steps now another thing you want to do is determine the signal strength and I'll show you two websites which you can use for that. So let's go ahead and start with that. So in the UK you can use sites like Digital UK, put in your postcode, house number or name and then push detail review and then click go and it will give you a full report of the signal strength for certain channels in your area and you'll be able to then uh, find out the signal strength you can expect uh, from this location. In America, I'll show you their site. So if you're in America, you can use sites like this one, antennasdirect.com, and it will give you uh, the same sort of thing. You can put in your zip code, your street or state or city, and uh, you can then uh, click Submit, and it will give you a full-blown detail report of your area and the signal strength for certain channels that you will be able to receive in your area and this is if you're in America as you can see here United States so this is how you can go about doing it I'll leave the links in the video description if you're in America I'm not going to be doing the American one because I'm in the UK but you can check it out yourself so let's take a look at the UK one now I've put the postcode in and done a scan you can see Crystal Palace is coming up pretty good and uh, as you can see here we have uh, the dates and also the channel served marginal good reception uh, variable sort of reception and poor and you can see I'm getting a really good reception here which means I'm going to be getting some uh, good uh, viewing here with no breakup on the signal which is exactly what you expect now it doesn't mean because we're getting this that we're going to get it with this little aerial it just means that I'm I can expect to get that if I point it towards this uh, direction which is Crystal Palace so you need to make sure you've got a signal strength now you see here uh, other areas so if you're living in there and your postcode is in this area it don't panic it just means that it's showing up if I try to get it from here that's the sort of signal strength you can expect and you may need a really strong aerial so you just need to check it all out okay but for me as you can see here I'm going to be getting pretty good signal strength and you can see BBC A, D3 and 4, uh, BBC uh, I think that's B, HD, SDN, ARQA, ARQB and uh, COM7 HD and COM8 HD so they're the channels that I can be expected to get so let's go ahead and move on to the next step so what you want to do is uh, move it around the room and keep scanning uh, until you find the best location for your aerial. Now once you find the best location you can then stick it into position whether it be on the wall, on the window or wherever it may be behind a TV. You just need to keep checking okay so don't give up after the first scan. Do multiple scans in different areas of the room until you find the perfect location to get the perfect picture quality and strength. You don't know breaking up you don't know uh, sort of issues with it so that's the best thing to do next is find a good location and then we can set up the TV aerial so let's go ahead and do that next so on the back of the TV as you can see here we have an antenna in and USB 2 now you may have more USBs uh, than this and you may have a different type of antenna in with the screw feature but that Globe Mall does support both of those and also uh, this is an older TV which I got off of uh, uh, eBay for repair so as you can see here uh, this is around about five years old I think six years old this TV something like that and uh, this is how we're going to power it so no matter whether you've got uh, the screw type antenna in or the push type it still works so all we need to do now is plug in the antenna in into the TV now if you're using the screw type you just screw it in and if you've got the push type you just push it in it's just that simple now we need the USB uh, to plug into a USB port on the back of the TV and this is to get power to the 
a booster antenna on the actual aerial here. So this is going to boost our signal. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so let's get the TV remote now. Go into the menu system. Yours may be different, but I'm just going to scan for some TV channels here. So I need to go into the antenna settings here, as you can see. Now you need to make sure you've got this set to whatever it is. Mine's set to air uh, on this Samsung TV. And we can go to auto store and we can now search for uh, digital and analog channels. As you can see here, channel source and antenna source. So make sure you've got that set correctly and then just do a scan. And what this is going to do is give you a full scan of the channels that it's going to detect in your area. So I'll speed this process up and we'll come back when the scan is complete. So this is just the speeded up process here, as you can see, it may take a bit of time. So just be patient and let that scan uh, finish, okay? So you can see we've got 74 TV channels there and some other ones as well. Uh, let's click next here. Now I'm gonna be very quick on these, so uh, I can vouch for the channels were pretty good. Uh, no breakup on the channel at all, no loss of signal. Uh, very, very good. And I'm just gonna quickly flick through these for you. Uh, so you can see them and the reason why I'm doing that because obviously for copyright reasons I can't be broadcasting TV on uh, on the air for longer than a couple of seconds uh, but you can see here a HD this is a channel 4 HD no problems at all no breaking up of the signal and that's pretty much it that's the Globe Mall TV antenna and that's how you can set it up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Now if you haven't subscribed yet you can go to my main YouTube channel here click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.